Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. We're so grateful you're here with us today. In this video, we're diving into the significance of your silence towards a narcissist. Take a moment to ponder this. If you're enjoying our discussions, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with others. Let's delve right into the heart of the matter. What exactly does your silence signify to a narcissist? It symbolizes that you are on the path to recovery, or perhaps you have already found healing. It shows that you have come to recognize their true nature, you have pinpointed that this person is detrimental to your well-being and has never looked out for your interests. They never aim to support you. Their primary goal was to siphon off your resources for their own gain. This is a recurring theme we discuss here. Narcissists are in a constant state of wanting more from you. After they've taken everything, they still seek to take more. This pattern of behavior allows the narcissist to move from one individual to another, from one relationship to the next, exploiting people along the way. These individuals are often unaware of their own value, do not recognize their worth, or are unfamiliar with the concept of narcissism. They find themselves deceived, ensnared, and manipulated. This is why narcissists often disguise their true intentions. They might not always do this, but frequently, they enter your life under false pretenses. They frequently play the victim, making statements like, you're so much better off than I am. If you could just assist me a little, perhaps give me a place to stay temporarily, I could get back on my feet. Or they might claim, if you could just help me start a business or lend me your resources, I could have a fresh start. This is their modus operandi. And what transpires afterward? They become bold, arrogant, and start believing they are entitled to your possessions. This is why the narcissist tries to make you fall in love with them or to convince you they have your best interests at heart. Reflecting on the time you spent in a relationship with a narcissist, I can guarantee a few things. 1. You were likely too open because you thought this person genuinely cared about you. Unfortunately, they did not. 2. You might have been trying to please others too much, or perhaps you're an empathetic, kind, and loving person. Possibly, you lacked boundaries. You might have thought you could assist someone out of the goodness of your heart, not because you had to, but because you wanted to. The world certainly needs more generosity and less exploitation. 3. You probably believed that the person truly cared about you. You expected their actions to align with their words. If they professed their love for you, you took it to heart. If they expressed a desire for a relationship, you believed it would be a mutual connection. Now, we understand that nothing could be further from the truth. The toxic, narcissistic individual, or energy vampire, merely aims to drain you of as much as they can. Now that you're realizing this, you're gaining insight. You are becoming alert, informed, educated, and empowered. However, I must say, that narcissistic relationship nearly defeated you. Why? Because it was designed to do just that. The narcissist never intended for you to unravel their true identity, understand the nature of narcissism, recover from your experiences, break free from the trauma bond, or heal. These steps are critical, particularly after the end of a narcissistic relationship. You may have found yourself abandoned, and if that's the case, I empathize deeply with you. If you chose to leave the relationship yourself, my empathy extends to you as well. Regardless of how the relationship ended, it likely led to a moment of realization for you. Perhaps you turned to the internet or YouTube, searching for answers to behaviors you couldn't comprehend, such as spouse ignoring me, explosive anger, unacceptable behavior, or immature actions. Eventually, your search brought you to a place of discovery. Now, you find yourself here, gaining insight and understanding. You recognize that you were ill-prepared for the relationship, as education on narcissism was not part of your schooling. You were excessively open and overly generous, lacking in boundaries. Whenever you attempted to set a boundary, it was swiftly torn down. The narcissist would ignore it, mock you, or agree only to disregard it later. Once the narcissist felt secure in their control over you, through declarations of love, cohabitation, financial loans, or even having children together, they began to exploit you fully. 
Over the years, I've described numerous examples of this behavior in my videos. Now, let's discuss the importance of silence. What does your silence signify to the narcissist? Your silence indicates that you refuse to engage in their manipulative games any longer. Armed with knowledge, tools, and the fortitude to employ them, you are breaking or on the verge of breaking free from the trauma bond. You've come to realize that interactions with the narcissist previously left you feeling anxious, drained, or perplexed by their obscure language. While you may not have understood this at the time, you now possess the insight and knowledge to recognize that the narcissist's words are seldom straightforward. Communicating with a narcissist is not akin to a conversation with a straightforward person. For a regular person, stating the sky is blue is a simple observation. However, when a narcissist makes the same statement, it could imply a multitude of things. They skillfully twist words to serve their agenda. Should you note that the sky is actually gray, they might argue about varying shades of gray or claim it's still blue in parts. They never accept statements at face value, utilizing this tactic for manipulation and control. Your silence sends a clear message to the narcissist you've seen through their facade. It signifies that you recognize your own strength and have overcome an unseen challenge. You've realized that you were caught in a destructive cycle filled with manipulation, miscommunication, and falsehoods, but now you've stepped out of that chaos. Meanwhile, the narcissist moves on to new, unaware targets, repeating their harmful patterns while you're on your way to freedom. It was a daunting journey, filled with sleepless nights, emotional turmoil, and moments of intense confusion. You might have found yourself overwhelmed by your emotions, fluctuating between extremes as you struggled to break free from the trauma bond, a bond as addictive and hard to quit as any drug, though you might never have chosen this addiction. This emotional roller coaster was part of the narcissist's strategy to keep you trapped in a fog of devaluation, where you lived without even realizing it. Daily, you faced gaslighting, silent treatment, outbursts of anger, financial exploitation, and other forms of mistreatment. These tactics were carefully and slowly applied by the narcissist to control you and drain your resources. You might not have realized the extent of the manipulation until you noticed something was wrong in the relationship. The narcissist, once claiming love, might now be absent, secretive, or dismissive when confronted. They might insult or belittle you, undermining your self-esteem and isolating you further. This abuse cycle, whether you left it or were discarded, was designed to keep you like a toy on a shelf for the narcissist's whims. Your realization and subsequent silence break this cycle, signaling your liberation from their control. The narcissist aimed to keep you longing for them, stuck, and not healing. They wanted to prevent you from understanding narcissism or growing. They sought to dim your inner light, which is indeed bright and beautiful. If you resonate with this message, sharing it might help others recognize their own situations and spark a moment of realization. The narcissist tried to trap you in a dark, trance-like state to absorb your energy, your physical, mental, and emotional beauty. Then, they would shine in the world with the energy stolen from you. But something shifts after the relationship ends. As you distance yourself, you start healing and growing stronger, while the narcissist fades into insignificance. The person who once seemed so vital in your life becomes just a tiny, almost irrelevant. Yet, through this process, they inadvertently become a catalyst for your transformation. Your silence becomes a source of power. You evolve into a stronger, more resilient version of yourself, one you might not have known was possible. This transformation comes as you address past hurts, journal, seek therapy, meditate, and slow down. You're no longer scattered, trying to please someone who doesn't genuinely care for you. By focusing on your well-being instead of appeasing the narcissist, you heal faster and more profoundly. Now, you're focusing your energy on yourself, filling your own cup. As you heal, you either reach or are nearing a state of complete indifference. This is when opportunities arise, new relationships form, and you find love again. You might move to a new place, change your appearance, or reclaim old hobbies. You've learned to set boundaries and understand your worth. The narcissist once exploited your energy, but now you know better. In the past, the narcissist demanded explanations for your actions, but you were never silent. 
You tried to keep the relationship going, while the narcissist was indifferent. Now, their current situation doesn't matter. Your silence signifies healing and an understanding that you no longer play their game. You recognize the true value of your energy, having overcome challenges that many never face or recover from. You've learned to prioritize yourself, realizing your immense value and deservingness of love. This journey to where I stand now was tough. I faced isolation, health issues, financial struggles, and abandonment, especially during the pandemic. But these experiences taught me the importance of self-reliance and self-worth. I share my story to help you reach this place of indifference and self-appreciation. You might have been in a tough spot where it felt like your friends were just watching your struggles as entertainment. It's important to realize that tough times can hit anyone, not just through a narcissist's actions. I hope no one else has to endure a relationship with a narcissist. Many of us have had to face such challenges and work hard to heal. It's crucial to understand that this journey was necessary. Remember, your silence is incredibly valuable. You don't need to justify yourself or respond to any negative attacks. Focus on improving yourself and helping others when possible. Your silence tells the narcissist that you're moving on or have already healed. It shows them that their efforts to bring you down have failed. Narcissists are like leeches, always taking from others without giving anything genuine in return. They lack originality and thrive by exploiting other people's ideas, work, and emotions. Recognizing this allows you to set boundaries and understand that the narcissist never truly cared for your well-being. When you come to understand that and begin to heal, you transform in a way that lasts forever. Silence becomes a crucial part of your journey towards healing. Reflect on this, during your time with the narcissist, you were forced into silence. But after leaving the relationship, silence becomes your shield. It means you're okay whether people get you or not. Not everyone will walk your path or grasp the depth of your experiences. In fact, most won't. However, in a community of those who have faced similar trials, your story and your progress make you a cherished and valuable member. You're awake, aware, and continuously learning, sharing what you've lived through for the benefit of others. Before I wrap up this video, consider this. If you've endured the cycle of narcissistic abuse and emerged stronger, why not share that strength? You don't need to point fingers or name names. You might simply share a piece of insight or a video, gently suggesting to someone that the source of their struggles could be a close relationship. It's not about meddling in their affairs, but offering a perspective that might eventually click for them, perhaps not right away, but in time. This is your way of paying it forward without engaging in the narcissist's tactics of drama and manipulation. Keep your boundaries, observe, and if you're in a position to offer a bit of help, do so, when you're ready, not out of obligation. And to the narcissist, what does your silence signify? It's the end of their game. You might have entered the relationship under their control, blindsided by their eventual dismissal. But along the way, you received a hint or a clue that led you to the truth, you were caught in a manipulative, deeply challenging narcissistic relationship. Perhaps you found clarity through a simple online search or a video, leading to a moment of profound realization. That moment may have been overwhelming, even bringing you to tears, because finally, there was a name for what you were experiencing. That's why you're now part of this community. You've delved into self-discovery, realizing that while evil exists in the world, it no longer has a place near you. Your silence has become your superpower. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I loved making it for you. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to stay updated with more content like this. Love to all of you, and I'll talk to you soon. May God bless you. Goodbye.